Dorado. Corona Black, Pichu. Pichu. People don't really know how to deal with that yet. And already, like, and already, uh, I can see that Kamikaze has been putting in a lot of work here with Piranha Plant. It's got some tricks with this uh, neutral B. Salt one able to, ooh, not Salt one, but uh, Salt actually able to get a quick answer back with their P Pichu. Obviously, racks up the quick damage, closes out the stocks early. So with at sixty six percent he can act or seventy nine rather, he can actually bring this back pretty quickly. Ooh. So he's gonna eat a up smash there. So uh he's actually already he's got miles to come back from. It's actually really interesting seeing all the cool stuff that Prana Plant can do right now. Yeah, dash attack. So Salt's gonna have to find a way to actually manage to get in and that neutral be going to close out the stock. Oh my goodness. So Piranha Plant's a neutral B, obviously. I, I thought that move was uh, effectively useless, but um, after seeing other people play the character, you get punished for hitting it from on top of them, it'll fall on you, you take a quick 22%. It's obviously a very strong edge guarding tool as we can see. All right, so Salts is uh, debating on what he's gonna do here. All right, setting the music. Fair enough. It's actually some pretty nice music. Got the song kind of fit, so it's gonna go Prana Plant and it's gonna switch to Wolf. Um, obviously, going for a fist bump there, Kamikaze not paying attention. There we go. I thought he was gonna straight disrespect that man. Alright, so, taunt at the beginning of the game. So, you're gonna see how he uh, decides to make the adjustments that he needs to here. Already looking much better, not getting zero to death at the start. Good your air. Getting a lot of damage with this blaster and these tilts. Mm. Mm. That might actually. Oh, he. Oh, and decides to punish with a neutral B there. Actually, could have probably gotten a much bigger one, like a smash attack, possibly. And uh, not gonna get the punish on that dash attack there, because Kamikaze is actually putting himself in a pretty dangerous position. And the footstool gonna close out the first stock. And the uh, salts, or actually salty Mimikyu. I just realized this tag, uh, salty Mimikyu. It's actually doing really well um, up until getting put off the stage. Nice and back air there, punching the forward smash. Tries to go for the dare. It's gonna footstool him. Um, Piranha Plant with a significantly better recovery. It's gonna recover easily though. Up smash coming out there. Oh, and nice dare. So Mimikyu actually, uh, ooh, and that uh, neutral B coming out there, gonna close that out. And I like how he used the reflector, um, he had the right idea, but Wolf's recovery is not very great, so he was not able to come back from that. He's got to find some kind of way around here to mix up his recovery if he's gonna have any hopes of uh, dealing with this neutral B and bringing this uh, game back, or this set back, I should say.
getting a trade there with the neutral B. Not very favorable in this position. Looks like he was going for the reflector there. Not going to be able to get that. Ooh. And he does not want to be in this position. Back air. And it seems like Kamikaze... Oh, and every time he hits him... He's getting punished for it, and that's the thing about Piranha Plant. It's uh, pretty interesting. He's got some pretty interesting gimmicks and tricks there, so uh, good stuff from Kamikaze. So, uh, looking at it, it seemed like uh, definitely Mimikyu had a lot of trouble getting around the neutral B. And as soon as he got put in disadvantage and Kamikaze took control of the stage, Wolf wasn't doing it for him, but he had a really strong answer at the beginning of game two. But Kamikaze is going to be advancing to the next round. As... Alright, so we're going to get Dusk on stream versus, uh, I didn't catch the other player. Dusk, one of the uh, local Roys.